Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from isocially.com and welcome back to this video on my YouTube channel. And I wanted to quickly answer this question from one of my students. Uh, she asked, how can we track traffic coming from Instagram links? And it's actually very simple. There are many different ways, but let me show you one of the easiest method that I use personally. So here is one of the Instagram accounts that we manage. And if you notice, one of the things that they're doing is they're, they're using bit.ly link so let me zoom in look at this so they're using bit.ly link on their instagram bio so that way anyone who clicks on that link gets tracked and let me actually show you something really really cool so let's copy this i'm gonna copy this url open another tab and now I'm gonna put a plus icon like that so at the end of it put a plus icon hit enter and look at this so we can see the traffic going to or the clicks on that bit the link so this is one method that you can easy so any place where you want to send the traffic to from your Instagram let's say your website maybe your landing page maybe your product pages or your sales pages grab that create a bit.ly link and then use that bit.ly link inside your instagram bio and let me actually show you it's super super simple so let's say here's my website isocialu.com and let's say i want to track traffic going to this by the way if you have google analytics set up properly you can also go to google analytics and inside the traffic sources for social media and it will show you some traffic coming from Instagram but I like the bit.ly because I can easily segment or see the traffic like this and this plus adding the plus it doesn't have to be your own bit.ly link so any public bit.ly links grab that and when you hit the plus at the end you can see the data on it it doesn't need to be created by you all right so let's go back to the quick demo so let's say I want to track the traffic coming to you, my homepage, isocialu.com. Well, what I will do is go to bit.ly.com. You can also use other link shorteners as well. Bit.ly is the one that I like the most. And then create, paste the long URL. And then this is it. Here is the, the new link that it created. You can give it a title, you can create some tags, and here's something I would actually strongly suggest. Because I create so many bit.ly links, so it's easy to forget. So I always like using tags. So I'm gonna say Instagram. And you can also I social you homepage. Save it, and then you can copy it. Let's go back to the Instagram. So let's say if I wanted to update the link on my bio, what I would do is edit profile and then go find the, the field that says website. And then all you have to do is update this link right here with the new bit.ly link. So that's it. This is how you can, I won't do it right now because I do not want to change this. So let me go back. All right, so this is it. This is one of the easiest methods that you can use to track traffic that's coming from your Instagram bio link. Step number one, grab the URL that you wanna send traffic to and track. And step number two, create the bit.ly link. And then step number three, go back to your Instagram, update the bio and add that new bit.ly link to the website field. And then if you wanna track it, you can easily just add the plus icon or plus at the end of it in any browser hit enter and you'll have access to all this data right here how many clicks you got i believe you if you if if it's your link then you can even change the time period all right that's it thank you so much for your question and now before you go make sure you do subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon that way you will get a notification when i launch my next videos Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.